Good morning, everyone. It is... Oop, camera's dirty. Hang on. Ah, ah, ah. Still not good. Hang on. Maybe I should have checked that before we started this process. Hang on. That's a little better. Again, uh, good morning. It is Saturday, January 7th, 2023. It is 6.55 in my locale. I know I haven't done a video in two days, and the reason is I have been crazy nutty busy since 4 a.m. each day, 4.30 each day. First of all, got a haircut, finally. Had to go to town Thursday, okay? Did some running around. Uh, I hate going to town anymore. Watching society just implode. It's just, it's just bad. You know, go somewhere. I can't get a straight answer. You know, I, I ask for things and it's like, hey, I can't seem to find. Hey, man. And I look at people really open and I just go, hey, man. I live in America. I speak English. I, I don't speak your language. Can, can you help me? I mean, I know you work here. Can you help me? Magically, uh, the Queen's English pops out of their heads. So I know something's going on. Uh, let's see. Uh, I got everything I needed way too high price, but of course I'm storing some stuff. Also got my, uh, my power station and my solar panel. So I set that up yesterday to test that. Uh, it's, it's, it's a slow charge on the 100 watt panel. I think I would need a second 100 watt panel, but a great backup. Uh, we're going to test it probably Sunday night. We're going to plug the Instant Pot into it and see if it works. If it does that, we keep it. If it doesn't do that, we send it back. Simple as that. Let's see. What else are we doing? Uh, yesterday was day of work. Yesterday was... The weather was really good because it is 67 degrees here, which means I slept with the windows open. Uh, six, so, you know, opened all the hatches. Inside, open the hatches. Outside, that's very important, you know. Uh, I, I just opened everything up, set them up with sticks, anything I needed to do, because anytime you have a good weather day with a little bit of wind, bring the air in. You know, bring all that stuff in, keep the moisture out, take care of it. Did some restacking and realignment of materials yesterday. Good news, I uh, got some storage stuff. Bad news is that I'm running out of space, which means I got to start getting rid of stuff. And that's okay as a professional organizer and, you know, a minimalist. I'm down to sentimental stuff, and that might be a little harder to maintain. At the same time, might be a little easier to maintain. Uh, I just have to figure out how I'm going to do it. It might be uh, move it to thinner boxes. It might be remove things that are no longer effective to me. It could be who knows what, but I've got to take care of it. It might be take things out of books. And just line them up with dividers, which is another thing I was thinking about. You know, maybe the solution is to get rid of some of the totes and get some file box type stuff and file things up as I need to. Ultimately, I'm going to have to get rid of it or I'm going to have to find an off-board place for it. I can't carry all the weight. So, a problem I have to work on. Uh, so, not bad, but busy. You know, so busy, 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 busy. And today I go to work. So, because I, you know, you only get two days off. And then tomorrow, today's 8.30 to 4.30. Next two days, 9.30 to 5.30. I also have to take a license. Get it. It's kind of a certificate. I don't have to get it. I am choosing to get it. Because my job, the state says I don't need it. My job says you do need it. Well, there's a possibility I might have to go do something, so I better get it now before I get it later. The only rule of the games are, one, I don't do it on my time. I do it on their time. You're going to pay me for the time I invest in it. And the second one is, it's my certificate. It's not yours. Which means if I decide to get up and walk away, I carry it with me. You don't keep it. Only rules of the game. Which is fine. Let's go to our daily Zen poem. The unborn Dharma disappeared in both Japan and China. It has long since been forgotten, but now it has appeared in the world again. 
one true come to know without any doubt that the marvelous illuminative wisdom of the unborn is the Buddha mind, and that the Buddha mind puts all things in perfect order by means of the unborn, then you can no longer be deluded or astra led astray by others. Bonquet, 1622, 1693. That's, hey, that's very important because the unborn Dharma is, as far as I can interpret this, the way that things are supposed to be, not the way that they're being told to be, the way things are supposed to be, naturally. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. We interrupt this program for. Ooh, we interrupted him. There's your snort. And your obligatory case overview. Do you have anything else to say? There's your snort. All right, back into the blanket. He's going to get ground ham, rice, and carrot this morning. That's going to be his breakfast. Okay. Uh, so, you know, barring that interruption, you know, I think that the way that things are supposed to be, if you just let nature do its thing, will be much better. However, uh, we, you hear me say that again, there are people like me who just want to be left alone. And so many of you are the same way. And then there's people that just can't leave well enough alone. They, If they can't find a problem, that's okay. They'll make one up. They have to be unhappy and complain. They can't take joy in what works and instead enhance that or, or expand it. They have to go find something to bitch about. That's the Karen. That's the Chad. That's the people we ignore. Because they just, they want to be miserable. They want to drink their Starbucks and complain they have no money. They want to shop at Trader Joe's to get their organic hoopada hoopada. And then complain that their grocery bills are astronomical. Well, you, did you really need the watermelon chutney? It's just that way. Daily room pull. Upright. So there we go. We've pulled this one before. Let's take a look around. Possessions. Okay. Fehu is the name of that rune. It is a rune of fulfillment. Ambition satisfied, love fulfilled, rewards received, and it promises nourishment from the most worldly to the sacred and divine. From the ancient principle, as above, so below, is true. Then we are also here to nourish God. Yeah, if you have a higher power you talk to, definitely take care of it. This rune calls for a deep probing of the meaning of profit and gain in your life. Look with care to know whether it is wealth or possessions that you require for your well-being, or rather self-rule in the growth of a will which is where we are now. Another concern is conserving what has already been gained. It urges vigilance and continual mindfulness, especially in times of good fortune. It is then that we are likely to collapse ourselves into our success on the one hand or behave recklessly on the other. Please enjoy your good fortune and remember to share it. It is the mark of a well-nourished self is the willingness to nourish others. It is the mark of a well-nourished self is the willingness to nourish others. Take care of you first and then help us somebody else. Seems that message keeps coming up over and over. I think we have to, I think I'm, at some point in time, I'm going to have to put a website up and just put those messages up that keep coming back over and over and over because they obviously, that's baseline reality. If it keeps coming back over and over and over, it's baseline reality. And that baseline reality really is take care of you first. Once you got everything taken care of for you, then go take care of somebody else. Because if you don't take care of you, nobody else will. Thanks, Mom. So today I got to go to work. I don't know how many tours I'm going to run. 
it's a Saturday, so I expect it to be busy. Uh, will I run two? Will I be running four? More than likely, it'll be two. Uh, they probably will put all three of us on, which makes absolutely no sense at all, but I don't do the scheduling. Uh, the times that I am not there, I will be sitting with my phone, and I will be uh, continuing forward with that course. And when I say to them, what are you doing? I'm sitting here. I'm taking that course. I got to take. If they let me, you know, if they don't want me to run that last tour, which if I'm working with my partner, I'm very comfortable letting her do that. She's awesome. I will simply go, no problem, and do what I did on Wednesday. Come back here. Get on it and keep going and work for 90 minutes. And at 4.30, save and close, I'm done. I will not do this work on my personal time. It, that's my time. I have other things I am doing for either money or for intellectual stimulation or just to put my feet up. I will not do their work on my time. And I will not do my work on their time. That's fair fair for me, fair for them. I think that's an important thing to keep in mind. So today, what I think we should do is think about those things that are, have been forgotten that keep coming up. The nature of reality, how things actually are supposed to be, keeps coming back again and again. Look at the runes. Ambition, reward, I felt very rewarded yesterday. Um, it allowed me to take some stock of what I was doing. And that's when I realized, okay, now I know where I've got to really, really concentrate. Um, I might have to find a place to offboard some of this stuff until I can figure out what to do with it. That's a possibility. I might have to... Um, be a little more ruthless and decide that when I open one of these boxes, 50% has to come out. And I did when I got here. I went through it pretty ruthlessly. But it has to be done. And so as I do that, you know, that's going to be my own little thing to do. And, you know, guys, you know, it's, it's very hard. My whole life is here. Everything I have is here. Okay. Everything I left, I left in my home. Uh, so that when I come back, I can just pick up where I got started. And I may not be able to get there. We never know. That's going to depend a lot on her health up here. Until then, we got to figure out this problem. And we will. We are happy. We have everything we need for the moment. So we just have to make sure that if somebody needs something, and we they are... One more time for the cheap seats. Like-minded. Share values. Have something to offer. Then maybe we can stretch our hands out. If, no, if the answer is no to any of those three questions, empty hands, guys. Can't help you. Think about that today. How baseline reality keeps coming back over and over, no matter the nonsense they throw towards us. And what to do with that baseline reality. Other than that, I want you to have a great day. I'm going to finish my coffee. And then I am going to get myself to work. So, hey, have a good day. I will see you later.